Hello and welcome back to my channel Snow the New Sir. So for this video tutorial, what we'll be looking at is a functions assignment. So the title of this assignment is function manipulations. This assignment will consist of about four to five functions and it's more complicated than the first assignment that we would have done all right so the first part of this question would would read to create a function called many options from which user will interact with your program a screenshot is shown below and we'll be using the switch statement to handle the many op um, operations all right so as you can see by looking at this this is what the the function the many options should look like and this will be created via a switch statement all right so the fir the first problem is to write a function which would be named even add that will be using the modulus operator, which is the percentage sign, to find out whether integers are even or odd. When, when the user enters an integer, it will denote whether the, the integer is either even or if it's an odd integer. And this should be shown whenever the user presses E on in the menu options the second problem is the greatest common divisor which simply is another function that when you press d for this one in the menu options it will calculate the greatest common divisor of two integers so it will return the the greatest common divisor of the two integers that is entered okay and that's the number that can divide evenly into both of them all right so this is a screenshot of what it's supposed to look like so we have 10 and 24 so the greatest common divisor of 10 and 24 would be 2 so the second function which is i guess probably the more like complicated one or the final one the third problem which says that this game should be invoked from the menu when the user presses g so that would be the guess my number game and finally as you can see let me show you first that x when you press x it should terminate the program all right, so what we'll be doing now is I'll read, I'll look at the final one before I move on. So what we'll, do, we'll be doing is writing a program, a function rather, which will um, guess my selection integer at random in the range one to 1,000, so therefore, a number between between one and one thousand will be selected at random by the program. So if the user guesses um incorrectly, your program should loop until the program the player finally gets the number correctly. So the program should keep telling the player too high or try again or too low, try again to help the player zero in on the correct answer. When the player guesses the correct answer, it should be printed um, excellent, you guess the number. All right, so the program should also count the number of guesses the player makes. If the number is 10 or fewer, we should print either you know the secret or you got lucky. All right, so if the player guesses the number in 10 tries, the print should be aha you know the secret <laughs> if the player makes more than 10 guesses the print should be you should be able to do better all right so this is also a sample gameplay so and 
as you can see here, there is going to be some sort of Sentinel value loop, Sentinel in this program also, which will ask the player to run once more if they like to play again. So would you like to play the game again? Yes, no. So they will enter Y for, for yes, if they want to play again, and N if they want to cancel out of the program. So therefore, this is also a screenshot of what the, the code is supposed to look like. And generally in this, this program did not, this instruction assignment did not really give any description if the, the program should be cleared. I don't think an instructor should, um, should lower grades or not give you the full marks because you did not clear the screen. For example, you select this and you select E for the even odd numbers and then you would have finished that. The program would terminate by itself. So it does not tell you that you should bring back the menu options after you are finished with this function with the first function or you should clear the screen after you have done either one of these to bring back the the many options it, the fun, the assignment here did not really specify that you should be doing that but as a programmer you should try always you should always try to make the the program user friendly as possible as user friendly as possible you should always try to do that as a programmer because you will be making programs not exactly for yourself but for the users and you have to make them want to use your program so therefore i think we can get into this program now all right so i just pulled up dev dev c plus plus so first we'll need what we'll need are some some libraries so at the moment we need about five libraries five different libraries which you probably have seen some already so first we'll have include we'll have include io stream stream and we'll have include std list.h and we'll have include csdd that list that list and we'll also i think that one is for the random functions and the first one is to clear the screen and or it's the fifth one to clear the screen i'm not I'm really sure but i think all right so all right it's for the min function one of them i'll get back to you or you can just come in if you know exactly what it is and c time and also the final one which would be include std io h and we'll be using the standard library and the io stream is for the c out and the c in and Using namespaces, actually, the the standard lab where you can find the data types or whatever. So now, for the what I always say is that comments are critical. So therefore, we'll need a few comments which you are, would have already known how to do that. So the school. Or your institution, your department, 
your program of study or things that you should put in the comment when it's you stuff like that your name and your id number things like that you'll put in there and the instructions for the program so now uh, so now what what we'll be doing is just to to simply copy as i would have said from the first time that you could just simply copy the instructions and just paste them you could just simply copy and paste the instructions okay all right so this is giving me some okay like that and what the other problem should do so we have this problem that we're going to solve and so this is the first problem and we'll be going back to this is even though this might take take up your time and you probably feel that it's not really important it really serves as a guide to another user to another programmer which would be which might be looking at your code whenever you're finished using it for example even your instructor in your your instructors will want to know what you are doing and a line of code they'd like for you to really tell them so that they have they are sure that you know exactly what you're doing all right so you could put in the rest of the information but just for for condensed purposes i'll just leave it like 